let's discuss the role of the lower body in our golf swing. Our legs are the foundation of our golf swing, and they're so important for us to be able to make clean contact with the ball. In a full swing, our shoulders are gonna turn around 90 degrees, and then our lower body is gonna turn about half that. It's gonna turn about 45 degrees. And so let me show you some very basic drills that you could do at home or on the range to help you with the legs in the golf swing. The first one is using the chair. And so what we could do is take a chair and we could place it right next to our side. And when we make golf swings, I want you to stand next to the chair and then as we swing back, we want to make sure that our our legs and our hips, we want to make sure that they're staying right next to this chair. We want to avoid pushing the chair uh, away from the target. When we start to move off the ball, we would start to hit the ground before the ball. The other thing we want to avoid when we're making our swing is adding too much weight on our front foot where our hip would actually be moving away from the chair. So set up right next to it, go up to the top of your swing and see if you could keep your hip uh, right against that chair. The other idea when we're making our swing, we could even place the chair right behind us. In our swing, we want to be able to go back and keep our rear right against the chair, maybe even push it back an inch. We want to avoid having our hips move forward in our backswing. As soon as we get our hips moving forward, that's when we're in danger of hitting the inside part of the club. The same is true for the downswing. As we come down, we want to keep our left pocket right against that chair rather than moving forward. Another basic drill you could do is take an impact bag and you want to place it right between the knees. You can take an impact bag, a small trash can, a shoe box. And as you make practice swings, you want to make sure that your legs are staying stable. What we want to avoid are having the legs move from underneath us. You do not want to add excessive knee flex as you're going back. When you start to add knee flex, that's when you start to lose your height. And again, that's when you could hit the ground before the ball. Another very basic drill you could do is take another golf club. What you would do is just set it on the ground, place your trail foot on the club, and you'll see this is my right foot here, and I'm just placing the outer part of my right foot on the club, and this club, it acts like a brace. So as we swing back, my weight is staying right on the inside of my foot rather than moving to the outside of the, my foot. When we have a stable base and when our lower body resists our upper body going back, we start to create coil. When we start to create coil in our backswing, our downswing starts to sync up and our downswing will start with the hips and we'll go forward. So definitely make sure that uh, you do some of these drills at home or on the range. And I'm confident the next time that you go out to the golf course, you'll be making some better contact.